Hello my darlings, we are back to my old setup, you know, for some reason this is just my favorite place to record, everything looks just right, I don't know why, but I'll be still trying to find a nicer angle, all right? Um, I hope we will not spend that much time in this apartment anymore, so yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed for a swift move very very soon um, and welcome to my channel if you're new here hello my dear please do not forget to subscribe and of course follow me on instagram and guys today i have a very easy light video for you i picked my most powerful fragrances from my collection and i think if you need a powerhouse I think these are the ones you should go for. They're absolutely beautiful. We have some orientals, we have some rosies, we have some tuberoses, we have some gourmands. So I think there will be something for everyone. So if you're interested, let's go ahead and jump right in. So guys, the first one I want to show you is the fragrance that I've been raving about and I from what i see there has been a little bit hype around it going on some people love it some people hate it but it's still very hyped uh, and that is silky woods from goldfield and banks and i adore it to me this is one of the best woody vanillas ever you get some argo wood in here of course a lot of vanilla the note structure is quite complex but mainly what you get is a woody based very beautiful sensual sweet vanilla at least to me there is also a little bit of suede to it so you know it's just nice with that leathery touch it's just smooth and sensual and very very intoxicating to me one of my favorite fragrances this is the one that i will be surely getting a backup of unfortunately i don't really know how far i am in this bottle but <sighs> as soon as i run out i will just run and get another one so that is silky woods fantastic longevity as well and it projects so beautifully so so beautifully so that is the first one i had to include it the next one is a fragrance that i do not talk too much about anymore for obvious reasons but when it comes to powerhouses this is still on top of my list and it's definitely still my favorite fragrance DNA and that is of course Baccarat Rouge by Francis Courjan and this is such a beauty and the thing with it is that the molecules of this fragrance are um, created in a way that there is a high concentration of alcohol thanks to it um, the molecules basically of the fragrance pop out of your skin and spread in the air all around you and people will definitely smell it even you might feel like you don't smell like it anymore surely you will trust me trust me i've been through it many many times when i spend like hours outside thinking that now that i'm sweaty and just ew i surely don't smell like baccarat anymore but then someone gave me a compliment so amazing fragrance if you want a very good sillage i think this one is one of the best that you can get baccarat when it comes to projection there is not much that's better than this of course there's also the extra version uh, i will be getting it most probably again uh, i did have a bottle i don't have it anymore uh, but i will be surely getting another one so yeah speaking of francis kurjan there's another one that gives you such amazing sillage it is just to die for guys and that is Oud Satin Mood. Uh, I know it has so many people that love it but also I know that some people don't really appreciate it. I am definitely in the first group. This is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. I don't use it enough that's for sure uh, but also I'm gonna be honest I don't have that many events to go to at the moment but when I will 
I will surely pull it out because I cherish this bottle so much. I'm actually happy because I don't use it up. But this is amazing. This is rose, violet and oud with a heavy dose of vanilla. To me that vanilla is just wow. Wow, 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 wow. So yes, one of the most long-lasting Kurjan fragrances. Uh, this one, unlike Baccarat, you will smell on yourself and it will be smelled in the air. So if you want something even heavier that you can also always for sure smell, this one. But you do have to like oud. Okay, so this one is another oud. Uh, but the wood is very very faint in here and this one used to be hyped up so much way before I started the YouTube channel and I don't feel like anyone talks about it anymore but to me this is definitely the one that is so long lasting and it has a super potent projection and that is my darlings Oud Bouquet from Lancôme and it is very sweet and it's very prominent on that praline that's in here. Super duper sweet rose oud fragrance with a lot of gourmand touches. Like it's almost like chocolatey, vanillic, you know, very, very heavy on that praline. So I really like it, uh, but this is a fragrance that I definitely do keep for certain occasions. This unfortunately is not an everyday scent for me even though I wish I could pull this off more often but after a while you smell it so much even if you spray like three times on yourself you smell it so much and it's just so cloying that it can be a little bit much so I do suggest not over spraying it this is a suggestion also to myself which I always always fail to do so yeah <laughs> but it's amazing it really is amazing it was worth the hype and I think it still is this is definitely one of the best feminine woods I do not like it on men I did not like it on my boyfriend this to me is a powerhouse but it's too too gourmandish sweet for me um, to like on a man you know to me it's a feminine wood so yes wood bouquet great one and such an oldie okay next one we have a very like tuberosey sweet bubble gummy but at the same time quite airy of a fragrance and that is velvet vanilla from Monsera and this is such a cute fragrance I mm. I love this one <laughs> as you can see from my ecstasy while I'm sniffing it but this is so beautiful it's slightly greenish but um, that greenness of this fragrance is not making it fresh in any way because the sweetness comes immediately to your nose immediately and it's that bubblegummy vanilla sweetness it's due to tuberose and of course vanilla it's beautiful it is beautiful and it is a strong 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 fragrance I really love it actually let me spray my hair with it ah so beautiful guys so so beautiful I think it has some angelica to it so you have a very slight faint herbal touch but very very slight it basically makes the fragrance slightly more savory and more bearable because I think without it, it would be just too much, you know, too sweet, too cloying, too gloopy. And thanks to that, it's balanced in a very nice way, still being super sweet. So keep that in mind. But this is one of the best vanilla tuberose fragrances. A lovely scent, really, really lovely. So that is Velvet Vanilla. And next, I want to share with you my recent purchase, which is Angel Eau de Toilette from Mugler. And this is Eau de Toilette, guys. And I think nothing deserves its spot in this video as much as this one, because it's an Eau de Toilette and it smells like Eau de Parfum times 10. Really, it is so, so strong. It's insane. I don't know what's the magic behind it but I don't really love the original Angel 
with this one I have no problem it's so nice it's fruity but also sweat slightly sour it does have praline as well so you know it's a beautiful bomb of sweetness and fruits the patchouli is quite faint in here so that's what I like I don't like the combination of earthy and gourmand chocolatey notes so here it is very nicely balanced and yeah I'm so 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 happy that there is an angel that I'd actually like uh, of course I do love some flankers as you guys know but the EDT it's kind of an OG as well right this is actually 2019 release if I'm not mistaken so my bottle actually stands which is always a good thing but yeah I I actually cannot stop sniffing it this to me is a powerhouse for spring and summer you can of course use it any weather any season because it's that strong but I think this is one of those powerhouses that will be okay for warmer months because it does have a slight freshness slight souriness so yeah it, it will be okay I suppose so that is Angel Eau de Toilette fantastic one I'm so so happy with it okay next one we've got another tuberose and this one is quite youthful it is modern feminine young actually but still in a very sophisticated realm and that is L'Enterdi by Givenchy and I talk about it a lot because I got it not that long ago and I'm still quite obsessed <sighs> that pair in here is so nice with that tuberose it is sweet it is playful I love this scent and the sillage on this everyone says it's absolutely amazing of course you also have the intense version which i also love uh, but you know this one is more of a all-rounder scent to me the intense one is more of a evening night out kind of a fragrance this one is a great one for daytime if you really want to leave a trail I think it's gonna be perfect and you do not have to worry about longevity because it's really fantastic on this one so yes my darlings that is Lanta D love this one very very beautiful scent okay what do we have next from Parfums the Marley uh, I chose only one the one that projects the most the one that lasts the best and that is the Lina exclusive so from the whole Parfums de Marly range if you want something super duper potent go either for Ojan which I do not own a bottle of but it's also very potent and from feminine collection I think this one is the best bang for your buck the Lina exclusive is slightly more expensive than the OG however you in my opinion get so much more projection and longevity that if you are hunting for a fragrance that is long lasting and you know just bursts like a massive bubble of a fragrance if it makes any sense I think exclusive will be a better option uh, the original and La Rose do not last bad but they are way more airy than this <laughs> basically this one is infused with pear and vanilla and oud but you know that oud is almost like don't even bother to search for it because it's nowhere to be found when you sniff it but the vanilla is beautiful um, it's such a feminine fragrance it's plush and precious but also like very money it smells like money it's bougie I think it's really worth the money no matter what other people think yes we have some great dupes on the market from some brands like Juliana's perfume I do agree um, and I keep saying that their dupes are fantastic but I still think that the exclusive one is very much worth your money uh, if I were to choose which one I would purchase once again I would skip on the original Delina and just go for 
the exclusive especially that now on the market we have so many things that are quite similar to the lina the original of course some might argue there's nothing like it i do agree in a sense but still we have so much in that similar dna with the exclusive version it's not really the case so yeah i think i talked so much about it that i'm just gonna move on to another one now for all my gourmand lovers this is such a beautiful fragrance and i love it also because i can smell it throughout the day on myself i can always smell it i really enjoy wearing it because of that beautiful sillage so here we have the house of oud what about pop and i really want to get more there is one release that's coming up from the house of oud that i am just i just need to get it okay i saw the notes like oreo guys marshmallow do i need to say more i just need that fragrance asap really but this one is still fantastic uh, this is a popcorny fragrance uh, with slight floraliness to it so it's not like you know you would just put your nose in a bag of popcorn no it's not that obvious you still of course smell that beautiful salted caramel that's in here but it's amped up with notes that make this fragrance very sophisticated while being quite edible at the same time i adore this one it's so beautiful it's like this salty caramelly balsamic vanillic fragrance just just beautiful i adore this the bottle you know all those eggs are magnificent looking as usual they are actually hand painted if you guys didn't know so so cute so i am eyeing so many of the house of wood i really want to get finally my hands on the empathy i really want to get the breath of infinite um and some others days delight i do like armand harmony as well this one is still the best in my opinion to start with uh, but the others that i mentioned are also very very nice uh, so yes guys i adore what about pop i know it kind of has mixed opinions online i really don't know why um you know i always overspray my fragrances so with this one i kind of keep it simple because i know i'm gonna smell it so much on myself throughout the day lovely one great longevity again all day i can smell it so lovely purchase i never ever regretted it for a second so yeah that powerhouse is a powerhouse good for the price though next one is the fragrance that i love i think like unconditionally okay because i've had so much struggle getting it horrendous customs as i always tell you like get it but be aware i always tell you <laughs> i warn you but oh it is so worth it guys it's so worth it and that is laya from the ema from kuwait you can get it stationary in dubai in sephora as far as i know but otherwise you will have to purchase it from their website which i will link below as usual with all the fragrances here and you know like the shipping is mad the customs afterwards were mad uh, i think it all doubled the price of the fragrance for sure but i would still do it again i'm not gonna lie i will still do it again because there are other fragrances that i want to try from the brand and i will have to go through the same thing what can i tell you it's such a lovely beautiful extremely long lasting powerhouse vanilla fragrance that you guys just you guys just have to have it it is amazing and because of me rambling about it so much now it's sold out i will still link it but as far as i checked it's sold out at the moment uh, there are some sets also with body lotion and something so check it out guys because if you are not afraid of what i just said the whole process of getting it 
I trust me it is still worth it it really is worth it the shipping was not too long I think I waited a week and a half so it wasn't that bad um, but yeah oh guys this is seriously like one of my favorite fragrances it is slightly slightly though comparable to silky woods but silky woods it's way more woody uh less powdery silky woods i wouldn't consider powdery at all to me it's more like a suede woody vanilla and this one is like a powdery sweet vanilla with a woody undertone if it makes sense to you to me it's also quite sugary this one just to die for just to die for and also if you like kayali from huda beauty vanilla this is some of the vibe that it will give you if you like let's think if you like fragrances like dama bianca from zelzhov but heavier denser more vanilla again this one um amazing just amazing and again when i spray this on my clothes i wash them i dry them i put them in a closet and i still have a massive dose of laya in my closet when I open it imagine that imagine how heavy it is guys so worth it but horrendous when it comes to the process of shipping and customer service just mm -mm. okay uh, enough rambling about Laia let's move on to something very happy and beautiful and easy to get and that is Boucheron Tuberes de Madras I think mainly you can get it online with a good price but I know that many retail stores carry it and this is of course from the La Collection from Boucheron uh, this is such a beautiful tropical tuberose guys it's absolutely fantastic powerhouse very feminine again I would not consider it a unisex fragrance that much to me this is a heavy dose of florals that are tropical like tropical florals some greenness sweetness and beautiful beautiful tuberose in here fun fact this is my boyfriend's current favorite fragrance on me he loves it so much and i'm quite surprised because you know to me um i wouldn't say it's sexy or anything it's not mature but it's definitely like sufish you know Oh, I know that um, when I travel this summer, I will surely get it um, and put it in my bag uh, because even though the bottle is very heavy, I don't see myself going on vacation without it. It's going to be just perfect for dinners at the sunset, but also you can totally wear it like in the city, like a city break smell, amazing sophisticated lunches gorgeous breakfast it just suits everything i can think of that i like <laughs> so tuberose de madras fantastic fragrance with beautiful sillage and projection and great longevity this is definitely uh, on the top when it comes to the lasting power of those boucheron fragrances so yes many of you ask me if it's worth it this one definitely is so that is the boucheron fragrance and i have just two more to show you so the first one has an amazing sillage like most of his brothers and sisters from the brand and that is um initio psychedelic love and of course i could put here any other initio let's be honest they all have amazing lasting power and projection i think that when it comes to the projection this one is definitely at the top from the brand because even when i don't smell it even when i am pretty sure that it's already gone you know I walk by someone and someone says you smell so nice even my mom and she never I mean almost never likes what I wear and this one she really likes so yeah this is like a buttery almondy fragrance with some florals 
and it's quite aromatic at the beginning but um, the more it marinates at your house <laughs> um, the less aromatic touch it will have at least that's what I experienced with my bottle as you guys maybe know maybe not fragrances in general do have to marinate for a while okay to actually give you the full potential of the oils that are there so for example if you just get delivered a fragrance and it's been very cold outside and it's been sitting in the courier's truck for god knows how many hours it will not reach its full potential so you have to wait it out warm it up Keep it on the shelf like the best scenario for at least a couple of days and then test it. That's my pro tip. Um, I hope you use it wisely but that is the truth with perfume oils. They do not really like cold or excessive warmth as well of course. But yes, what I was saying is that it really did marinate on my shelf okay and now it smells slightly differently to how it smelled like at the very beginning it's way less aromatic it's way more creamy which to me it's actually a great thing i love it i love it way more uh, than when it just came so yeah guys amazing sillage this one if you love those you know vanillic almondy fragrances but not like reminiscence drage meaning like vintage no this is completely not vintage smelling this is a very modern balsamic almondy fragrance even though there's no almond per se as far as i remember in the note structure it still smells very buttery and very almondy so yeah psychedelic love very much of a love and last but definitely not least who would i be if i did not include a montal fragrance in this video of course guys if you do not know already montals are famous for their lasting power and sillage and projection so yes this is the one that i think might be one of the heaviest montals that i own and this is none other but intense roses musk and i chose this one because this is the intense version of a very popular fragrance roses musk that they have and it really is amped up to the maximum uh, to the point that when you spray it on your skin the oil concentration is so high in here um, that you actually get oil so you know your skin will be shiny and oily so keep that in mind when you wear it i wouldn't really spray it on clothing especially like silks or you know just be careful so yeah but the projection is amazing amazing actually oh not on this side man what did i just do i wanted to spray it on my hand uh, okay now i'm gonna show you how oily it is do you see yeah this is how tremendously oily it is but you know for something that should last on your skin it's a great thing what i like to do with this fragrance is when i put on my body lotion right after i shower um even when the body lotion is not dry yet i put it all over my naked body this fragrance and i just massage it around my whole body at least at the top and oh guys i smell like a queen i really do <laughs> so yes this one actually is the best to be worn on your bare skin and in your hair this will give your hair that beautiful shine so you know it's kind of like a two-in-one i love it i love it and yeah most montals are fantastic they all could be here um but we don't want to spend two hours in this video right so that is it my darlings i really really hope you enjoyed my list um i also kind of hope that i will have many hauls this month for you because it's april can you believe it's april mind blown uh, but yeah here we are um, going into the future with beautiful smelling fragrances and yeah guys i hope you enjoy your day or whatever time you currently have 
and see you in my next one. Bye!